Are you OK? Are you OK? Are you OK? Now, it's a question often asked without any interest, and the reply is usually as simple and perfunctory. Yes, I'm fine. Carry on. Well, this morning when I read my New York Times, yes, I still pick up a real paper, The Losses We Share. It's an article in the op-ed section of The Times by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. And that question has much deeper meaning. In the article, the Duchess shares news of her miscarriage in July, the first time that we'd heard about this. In the article, she also says that in a year as painful as this one, for so many people in many different ways, three little words, are you OK, might make a big difference. Let's put that question to Moira Forbes, the executive vice president of Forbes Media and publisher of Forbes Women and mum to what she calls two toddler tornadoes. And Moira, gosh, how great to have, how lovely to speak to you Good about this. Look, so, so I read the article and I was, because, you know, obviously the royals and everything, I was prepared to sort of, oh, yeah, 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 you know, poor little royal type of thing. But the more I read it, the more I realised this is a... She, she was really not talking about her miscarriage. She was talking about the way we're treating each other in this very difficult time uh, that, that the world is facing at the moment. Certainly, it's, it's her personal story is a lens through which she talks about the larger issues of 2020, whether it be the pandemic, the social unrest in this country. There isn't anyone who hasn't been untouched by the events of this year, particularly in such a polarizing year. So she really is honing in on an important issue to her, and that is mental health and really ensuring there's a sense of connectivity and that there's an opportunity this year as we end this year and look to the, the future to really reach out and with empathy and sincerity and kindness to connect one with, with with one another in such an isolating and difficult period and it's it's deeply personal and moving but it really speaks to a global set of issues that all of us can relate to in such a profound way concern that we again reading the article I'm getting concerned that we're all paying lip service to this idea of the importance of mental health. We're all recognising, I hear CEO after CEO talk about, oh, yes, we're aware of the, the strains of mental health, but actually the execution of policy that accommodates these difficulties is still lacking. And I think that's what she's also talking about, not lip service. It's, it's, it's fundamentally lacking. I think there's silver linings to this year in the sense that the mental health uh, crisis around the world is really coming to the surface. And you make a good point, Richard. There is so much uh, lip service, but very little elbow grease in terms of people rolling up their sleeves and addressing this problem problem in such a profound way, I think this year is an opportunity for us to turn this crisis into real change and finally put mental health at the forefront of an agenda for business leaders and, and healthcare professionals around the world in a way that it never has been before. Moira, so what do you make of Megan and her future? I noticed that she says in the article, she describes herself, or they describe her as, Megan, Duchess of Sussex, is a mother, feminist, and an advocate. The actress seems to have gone somewhere uh, by the wayside. But uh, come on, let, let, let's get to, to, to what we think. What's behind it? What do you think? Is she, is she putting a marker down? I think certainly she's she's putting a marker down. She's someone that doesn't act without uh, a lot of strategy and intention behind it. And I think she's really looking to how she uses her voice and establish her platform on the key set of issues. I think next year, the most important thing will be to see the actions that she takes. She has an extraordinary platform, a global voice, but what really will be important to see the muscle that she puts behind it. And can she actually take measurable steps to move forward on these key issues and also bridge some key divides? She's a huge voice, very, very controversial, but she has an opportunity to be a really powerful force for change if she can identify the best way to channel those intentions and that energy. Moira, last question. Are you OK? Uh, I, I am OK, Richard. You might see some d dark circles under my eyes. You mentioned I have two toddler tornadoes, but I am OK because they have not run into the room and interrupted us. So I feel like that, that is a win and uh, oh. a win to, to be with them and safe and healthy for this holiday. My bribe failed. I was trying to bribe whoever's looking after them that they would run in and attack at the last moment. Well, good to see you. If we don't speak before uh, the holiday season, I wish you well. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank Mara. you. Thank you. Be safe, Richard.